Hello, my courageous Cancer, and welcome to your monthly reading for the month of May. This is just a general reading, so please do take what resonates and toss the rest. Also, check out your uh, love bonus and your moon reading if you haven't had a chance. They're up on the channel. Uh, I want to apologize for my hair, but um, if you are a cross watcher, you're probably like, what happened to her? Um, but have you ever had one of those days? <laughs> I've had soccer games and I've been out in the got caught out in the rain and just a mess, but I did want to get these up. So anyway, um, if you've ever had one of those days, you know exactly what's going on here. And I, you know, I've resorted to losing my teacup and I'm drinking out of the greatest grandpa in the world teacup, which is my dad's. Um, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, um, it's one of those days, but anyway, I did want to get yours up my lovely cancer. So, uh, if you do enjoy this, please do like, subscribe, share, give me a notification bell, thumbs up, a comment um, to cheer me up because I've had a day. Uh, if you will, anything would be great. But otherwise, let's do a past, present, future for you and see what your month of May and going forward, hopefully a little bit, may look like. Time is fluid in tarot and uh, gender is neutral, so please do keep that in mind. But otherwise, let's get started here, shall we? So we have the page of pentacles in reverse and the two of pentacles in reverse. So I feel like, you know, for those of you who, um, you know, are working, employed, or maybe trying to find a job, um, right now you're a little bit frustrated. That's the feeling I'm getting is that you're frustrated. I feel like you feel like everything out there is either kind of trying to lowball you, undercut you, nickel dime you, breadcrumb you, that kind of situation, okay? And I feel like it's putting you into a situation where you are, um, it's not even that you're able to juggle anymore. It's kind of like a situation where you are, you know, you're kind of like having to work multiple things or work extra, or you're really trying to cut back. You're having to cut things out really to kind of keep up right now. Um, and again, this is past, this is your past row. So you may already be past this right now, depending on where you are personally, take everything as it resonates. But I feel like this is a stage you've at least gone through. Um, you know, so it may have been a situation where, you know, you're like, oh, okay, we're going to have to tighten the belt strap, belt, belt, tighten the belt. Okay. I'll get this right in a minute and kind of work on the budget. Okay. Because things are just a little bit too much right now. Right. Um, but let me see here what we've got here. Okay. So I do see you coming out of it. I was going to say, I'm, I don't, I feel like this is a temporary. Um, that's why I said, you know, with the past, I feel like this is, you know, it's, it's past. I do feel like it's temporary because this is the nine of swords in reverse. So I feel like you were stressed, really super kind of stressed over funds, you know, money, maybe you couldn't get the job that you were wanting, or again, you were kind of having to settle for some other jobs or, you know, you were having to work side hustle gigs or this or that, just everything was just not, flush for you financially. Okay. And again, you were really happened to kind of, um, it wasn't even a Rob Peter to pay Paul kind of situation. It was kind of like, um, almost kind of feeling like you're like hit the, hit the red panic button a little bit. We're having to start cutting things out. Like, okay, cable might have to go and just do internet this month or, you know, certain things that, you know, you were used to. Um, but I do feel like that stress has gone away. Okay. So for whatever reason, I feel like, you know, um, things have changed some for you in that situation. Um, let's see what kind of you're in now, that present. So I'm glad to see that. I kind of felt that anyway. That's why I was like, this is kind of past. So hopefully, um, and I was feeling that, but so this is good. Um, okay. So we have the hermit in reverse. Okay. And we have the high priestess in reverse. So again, I feel like with the hermit reverse, that is something where you guys have been able to come out. Okay. So I do feel like for many of you, you were able to find the opportunities you needed. Okay. Um, maybe still not, I'm still not getting that it's for a lot of you exactly what you wanted, or, you know, maybe you did settle to some degree. You feel like, you know, maybe you applied for 50 jobs and you had your heart set on, you know, one specific, um, and maybe you took your th second or third or fourth choice, you know what I'm saying? Um, so I don't necessarily, I'm not saying that all of you got the exact dream job that you wanted or the big, big bucks that you were hoping for. Maybe you had to negotiate a little bit on that, um, those kinds of things. But I do feel like it's, it's gotten you out of your kind of like financially withdrawn, you know, holy cow, what am I going to do kind of, um, introverted 
feeling self out of that hermit stage, you're able to, you know, come out and do the things that you needed to do, start the work, get moving, those kinds of things. So I feel like you were able to at least land something that you felt was appropriate, okay, or was going to uh, answer some of the needs that you had, okay, financially. Um, the high priestess in reverse, though, it does kind of tell me that, again, that's kind of where I'm kind of drawing that. It wasn't the, the the specific one you were really hoping for. I feel like it's not giving you that um, dream vibe, um, you know, that's making your soul take flight. <laughs> I just feel like, you know, maybe there was one that you, um, one choice that you really had above the rest that you wanted. Um, and you feel like you still had to settle a bit, but you were happy to do so. So I feel like, you know, you still have that high priestess energy in you. You still have hopes. You still feel like you can make anything happen now. Um, and now that you're tided over, anyways, you have a tiding over um, financially where you're not stressed anymore. Um, I think you feel like that's going to help you emotionally, spiritually, financially, all of those things to kind of gather some well-being um, in the long run that may help you get to where you're going to go. And I would keep that that in mind because that anytime you start to... Um, anytime you're not making a emotional, uh, stressed out type of choice decision, those kinds of things that you have to do in panic, um, you know, you can make better ones, you know, um, you can take more time to do those things, obviously. So again, with the high priestess in reverse, I think that's just like, you feel a little bit, a little bit disheartened that you didn't have the exact choice you wanted, but I don't think it's anything major. Um, Knight of Pentacles, uh, that, you know, that's a slow moving night. And, you know, for you, again, I feel like these are opportunities that um, you were hoping would come in uh, earlier. Um, and I just feel like they're still going to come to you, but they're going to have to be created by you. Okay. So again, I feel like this is something where, like I said, just a minute ago that, you know, because now that you're in a better place, now that you're in a more um, kind of stable place, uh, not as rushed, not as panicked, not as like, under the gun, under the pressure, all of that to take what you can get to, you know, survive. You're not in, you know, fight or flight, you know, survival mode. Um, I think you're going to be able to create your own opportunities, right? So even if it's at the position that you just took, which maybe wasn't what you wanted, you may be able to make some really great strides in that position once they see how amazing you are, right? So I think you're going to be able to invent yourself, Create your own position. Let's get one more on here. Six of Pentacles in reverse. Okay. So I feel like, again, your your balance feels like it may be a little off. You know, you may feel like you're not in a place where, you know, you can uh, spare a whole lot. You know, this isn't exactly what you were hoping for. You're just kind of, this is going to get you what you need to to get through. It's tiding you over. It's just not that it's just not what you wanted. You were hoping to really get a certain thing. I feel like you had a mindset that was just really dead set on a certain type of thing or a certain pay grade or a certain amount of funds or whatever it was. And you were really hoping for that. Um, and maybe because you had lost a job back here or you'd gotten laid off or there was a situation there, you know, um, health wise or whatever that caused you to not be able to work, whatever it may have been. And you had to take something that was less than that. Okay. Something of that nature, but you know, for whatever reason, I feel like, you know, you feel a little bit still out of balance, right? You've taken something that's tied to you over. It's going to release your stress. You know, it's going to pay the bills, right? It, but it's maybe you're looking at that as, you know, at one point I could have extra, you know, a disposable income a little bit. And now I'm kind of paycheck to paycheck. So it's still not what I was you know, it's not my high priestess dream. It's not my uh, soul take flight goal, uh, happiness and light, you know, all of that. And it's not exactly what you wanted, but you can create what you want out of that, okay? So, you know, I don't feel like you have that extra disposable income to kind of, you know, give give to the those around you, family, friends, whatever that you need. Um, you know, I don't, you feel like the scales are, you know, they're not necessarily balanced in the way you wanted them to be, all of that yet, but um, I really feel like you're going to be able to make a go of this, okay? Um, either at the position you've taken, you're gonna be able to grow in that, or because you have now been able to find a position to at least get you through, it's going to allow you the time 
to be less stressed, less worried, and be able to kind of regather, regroup, and apply for more positions. And you may end up with something you wanted even more, even better. That's just kind of what I'm feeling, but we'll see. We'll see what's going on forward here, okay? So going forward, temperance in reverse, okay? So for me, I feel like that's you just feeling like you don't have any choices right now. You are stuck with this, this is what you got. And I almost feel like you're a little down and out about it. You know, you're you're happy on one hand, you know, you're like, uh, I'm happy on one hand that I have a job because I was stressed out. I couldn't pay the bills really. I mean, it was kind of starting to hit the panic button. But on the other hand, it's like, this isn't what I really want to do with my life. This isn't really what, you know, this is more like I have to do this than I chose to do this, you know. So, you know, you're not really thrilled about it, but... Um, the full card is kind of giving me some hope, okay? So on one hand, the full card in this reading is kind of making me feel like you're just kind of doing the job without any sort of um, care. I hate to say it like that, but that's kind of how it's making me feel. Like you're just showing up, you know, because you didn't really, you know, you're like, I'm there to collect a paycheck. I could not really care less. It's not giving me that happy-go-lucky full vibe that I get a lot of times. I'm, it's more like I'm, I'm really, I'm casting off any sort of like give a crap, honestly. Um, that's more the kind of feeling that I'm getting from that is like, you're just kind of like, you know what, I'm showing up, I'm doing what I'm supposed to do. I'm punching in, I'm punching out and that's about all they're going to get out of me. Okay. Um, I would caution against that. And the only reason I say that is because I do feel like there are opportunities potentially there, um, you know, even if it's not at that company, you know, there might be connections. You never know when a connection could come up. Um, somebody who leaves there and goes somewhere else that could take you with them, okay? Or somebody who comes in as a customer or a, you know, a client or something like that. And if they notice that you're doing an amazing job, they might offer you a job at their company. You know, you never know when that next big break is around the corner, right? But if you're just, you know, kind of like walking through clouds, just barely doing what you're doing, you know, giving it the bare minimum, nobody's going to really, you're not going to stand out. Nobody's going to be like, oh, wow, I really recognize their great uh, work and I want to take them with me, you know? So just kind of take pride in what you're doing, even if it's not what you want to be doing. Try to do that because I do think there's going to be, I don't know why I'm getting that vibe, but I really feel like there's an opportunity that's going to come for you um, when you least expect it here. But if you're not giving your all, you could go unrecognized and you don't want to have a missed opportunity. So let's see what we got here. The devil energy. Okay. So again, that devil energy could very much be this job in yourself. Okay. That's the vibe I'm getting. That's the vibe I'm getting. Again, I feel like you're becoming your own worst enemy. You're almost becoming your own devil energy here. And you're chaining yourself to this position that you hate. Okay. Kind of locking yourself in it by not being true to yourself. Okay. Because typically you are a person who takes very much pride in your work. Okay. If it's a job you enjoy, something you feel like there's, um, you know, a chance to grow, something you feel like you, uh, you want to grow in or something you feel like, Hey, I can shine. I can stand out. I can get promoted. You are always that first person in there, hardest worker, last one to go home kind of situation. I feel like that. Right. And I feel like because this job is one that wasn't necessarily what you wanted, you had to take it out of kind of obligation for bills and finances and this and that. I feel like you are kind of just doing it again. That's the vibe that I'm getting here. You feel like I got stuck in this. I don't want to have to do anything. You know, I'm going to do it to the, you know, bare bones minimum. And, you know, I might apply to other things, but you know, you could really be kind of, like I said, screwing yourself over, right? Getting stuck in this job because you might be getting overlooked by people who are coming in that could very much, if you were really doing a hard work job, doing a great job, they might notice you, 
take you with them to their company, you know, right? Um, you might have to put this job down on some resumes um, or some applications for jobs you really, really want, right? You're like, oh, this is it. This is the job I really want. I'm gonna get it, it's gonna be amazing. But they call your work, right? And your work's like, this is one of the laziest, like non-committed employees we've ever had. Like they show up every day, but it's literally like they do the bare bones minimum. And you lose that job to somebody who, you know, they work, you know, a really, really even crappier job than you feel like you have maybe, but they do it really, really hard. And so when they call for their, you know, last work reference, the company's just, you know, raving about them. They're like, man, they come in here, they don't love the job, we know that, but they, you know, they clean the toilets in the bathroom if we ask them to with smiles on their faces, whatever, you know? And so they're like, oh, well, you know, this person's a team player, this person's a hard worker, they do what needs to be done no matter what, they don't, you know, they don't mind getting their hands dirty, you know, whatever it is, right? But that's kind of what I feel like with this devil card is that it's not a devil person that I feel here. I feel like it's you are really kind of being your own. It's like your uh, devil's advocate is you, like you're being your own worst enemy right here. Let's get another one. The chariot in reverse. Again, I feel like you are moving yourself backwards with this. Okay, you think you're going to be, you know, able to really move forward out of this job. So that's why you're not taking it seriously. But by doing that, you're really kind of causing yourself some trouble because here's the thing, you might be in a job too that you never know with the way the economy goes, with the way the market goes, with different things like that. You know, there's no telling. I can tell you that I worked, you know, for, um, I was a, a, an insurance manager, um, claims manager for many years, okay? And I worked for, I started with one company that is a major um, top car manufacturer in the United States for a very long time. <laughs> and, you know, so I um, worked for them. Well, then their claims division got sold and then it got sold again and then it got bought by a bank and then it got bought by another finance company. And then in the 10 years that I was there, we were owned by like six companies. Okay. So um, you never know if you're working for a company that maybe you're like, yeah, this really, I have no opportunities here. There's no place for me to go because this isn't a company that really has anything to grow wise. You don't know that, right? You don't know. I mean, I went from a company that is one of the largest companies in the country that I was working for, okay? And then went to a smaller one and then a bigger one and then a smaller one and then was owned by a big, it was like, you know, depending. And so that's kind of the, the way of business, okay? So you never know who you might sell to or buy to. You make, you know, and you're making your own uh, destiny by how hard you work or how good because, you know, that record will follow you, right? So you could be very much moving backwards, you know? So let's say you go work for a, a small company, but they get bought by a big, big company. And now they're saying, hey, we're gonna absorb you and we're gonna take in your best employees and give them really good positions in our company. But you're a crap employee because you haven't put any thought or ever into this, thought it was a nothingness job. And now all these other people around you who maybe are younger, not as experienced, they haven't been in the job half as long as you have, have half the knowledge you have, half the education you have, whatever, they're getting to move on up in this big company with all these big benefits with unlimited growth potential and you're moving back, really backwards if you're not moving forwards, you're kind of moving backwards because you just didn't take it seriously. So, you know, you never know, always do your best is what I'm saying here, okay? Let's get you a last card here and see what it says. Ace of Swords in reverse, okay? So I feel like you have the strength, you have the power, you have it in you, there's no doubt. You are a very talented worker, you are a very strong worker, you're an experienced worker. You are that person that if you're in a job you like, you care about, you want, you are the comp competition to be. You're the one that everybody's like, man, they're the one to be. They're the one whose metrics are the best. They're the one whose numbers are the best. They're the one who they get the raises the fastest. They're the one who gets the promotions the fastest. But in this particular sense, I don't see yet at least that you are really, you know, 
taken it on yet. You're just not. You've got it. You've got the power to do that. You can. It's just that you're not recognizing this as a real viable option for you. And you're not kind of realizing that you could be ultimately st sticking yourself to this devil energy wise, like chained to this, like in the devil energy card where they're chained together you in this position because, you know, you're really not taking it seriously. You're you're limiting your potential by doing that. So let's get a psychic card on each row. Hopefully this will give us some enlightenment, kind of tell us something more. Um, but, you know, my best advice to you, honestly, is just I don't care how cheesy the job feels to you. You know, you may have been coming from a huge, amazing company and, you know, because you were laid off or let go or uh, economic downturn or you had an injury or, um, you know, a medical condition or whatever and you lost the position for a while and you had to take what you could take, you know, you feel like this is such a downgrade. Why am I even here? I get that. But in anything you do, do your best, right? A job worth doing is worth doing well. So anyway, that's enough of my lectures, right? You're like, just shut up, lady, and deal with the cards. Okay. Temptation. So I do feel here, you know, that you have a temptation to, um, you know, really want to uh, go for the big things, the gusto, all of that. But I feel like financially, you know, you're struggling. And I think that's where here you kind of, you, your stress kind of um, draws back a little bit, lowers down when you decide that you finally need to kind of settle a bit for what will get you through. Because I think you have a, you, you do have a temptation to really go for the gusto. You really want that, you know, that big paycheck, that big dollar, that big job, that big what have you. And, you know, you should, you should have goals. You should have big goals, big ambitions, all of those things for sure. Um, but I think once here you start realizing that that temptation may have um, kept you looking for a job too long to the point where it's starting to actually get to like almost panic button um, situation that maybe settling is the best option. So, um, and, and I don't necessarily, I don't like to use the word settle. That's not a good word, but, um, maybe taking a little bit, uh, more, um, available position right now to get you through, um, is a better option. Let's say that, um, throat chakra. Okay. And with this, this is, you know, I think this is where you, you speak out. This is where you start coming out. You start, you know, accepting the job. You start accepting, okay, I'm going to take this. I'm going to do what I need to do. Yes, I will take this job. Yes, I will do what I have to do for my family. I will um, do this. This may not be the greatest thing in the world for me. You know, you may be telling your family this. You may be saying this, but you are speaking out. You are uh, actually making a move to accept. This is you accepting. Yes, I will take this job finally. Okay, I do believe that. Um, and then memories of love. I just feel like this for you is memories of the job you loved, the things that you had that you loved, you know, maybe the income that you could, you know, expend, the vacation days, the job, you know, different things that you loved, that you had memories of with maybe a past job. Again, like I said, for a lot of you, I feel like maybe you did come from a, you know, a really good job, a really nice job. And for whatever circumstances or reasons, and, you know, a lot of things happen, life happens, right? Um, you know, the economy happens. So many things happen, right? Um, and, you know, companies absorb companies and uh, companies move offices or shut down and move to other places and you just can't do that. You know, there's a lot of situations that happen that, you know, cause you to have to no longer be able to work there or whatever. And I feel like those memories that you're, you know, daydreaming about over here are making you feel so much... Um, less important right here with the job that you're currently doing that you're not taking it seriously. And by doing that, you're really kind of, um, you're really kind of screwing yourself to be honest with you, because again, you never know when that next huge opportunity could be right around the corner. It could walk in the front door. You know, it's not what you know, most of the time it's who, you know, and if somebody comes in and they're just really delighted by you because they see you really going above and beyond, uh, you know, you never know that person could own their own company and put you in a position that is amazing. But if they come in and they see you being like, yeah, what do you want? You know, I'm not this, I'm, of course I'm being over dramatic with that, but you get it kind of like, yeah, bare minimum. Yeah. I'll help you. What do you need? Yeah. Okay. Sure. 
well, you know, I can't really do that. <laughs> you know, if you're like not going above and beyond, you know, uh, empathy, empowerment, and education, if you're not doing all that, <laughs> then, um, you know, maybe the thing is that, you know, they're not, they're going to pass you right over. They're, you're not going to make any sort of impact on them and they're not going to take you with them. Um, and you might miss out on a huge opportunity and stick yourself to that job even longer. Your own devil, your own devil's advocate, your own devil energy. So this is fruition. And again, I think this is where your, uh, your, your temptation kind of culminates into fruition of um, realization here again that you kind of understand that you need to do whatever you need to do, okay? It's kind of like, all right, all of this try, try, try uh, to get exactly what I wanted, to get back to that exact pay range with the, you know, negotiating the the amount of, you know, vacation days I had after 20 years at that job or whatever, you know, it's not happening. So I'm going to just have to take what I can get right now to make things come to fruition for us financially so that we can steady on, right? Steady on. So I think that's what happens there so that you can limit this stress and anxiety, which you do. Um, release. And again, I think you're releasing your dream there. That's why we have the high priestess in reverse, honestly. You're releasing your dream of, you know, X, Y, and Z job that you really, really, really wanted. And you're taking one that you are okay with or that you think is at least, you know, you know, we'll bide your time, we'll pay the bills, we'll do what you need it to do. So it's more like I'm doing this because I need to, not because I want to. So you're kind of releasing um, that desire, that dream for a minute, um, you know, in lieu of uh, necessity, okay? And we kind of see that there and we kind of know that's kind of the whole theme here. And then acceptance. So here, I really believe that this is spirit's advice to you okay and kind of what I've been banging on about and you're probably like lady shut up I'm over you already but okay stick with me for just another second here acceptance I feel like this is where if you see the two hands reaching to one another I am just telling you on and on that I feel like this is spirit telling you that you need to accept that those memories that you're focused on um, are just memories okay and accept that this is what you're working on right now, okay? And do the best you have with what you have, okay? Because if you do, there may be a lot more opportunities that come along that you can accept. A lot more hands that might reach out to you to take you with them somewhere. You never know if that company gets bought out. You never know if it gets people walk in the door that want to, uh, that take notice of you and want to take you with them, different things like that, okay? You might get, you know, put an application somewhere and they call who you're working with and they say, hey, she is or he is an incredible worker. Um, and so that's what actually gets you over that hump and gets you accepted to your next job, okay? But it's all going to begin with you accepting the position that you're in now for what it is and working your hardest at it, okay? Take it for what it is and do the best you can at it. A job worth doing is worth doing well, okay? Because if you don't, you're ultimately doing yourself an injustice. And by doing that, you're being your own devil and you're tying yourself to this job even longer than you need to, okay? You're harnessing your own Ace of Swords power that you have, you know, you're you're holding it in instead of utilizing it and showing people how great you are and how can that ever be a good thing. And you're keeping that chariot from moving forward, which is what you really ultimately want. You want to get out of there, right? Or you want to move up somehow. And you can't do that if you're not doing your very best. So accept it for what it is. Stop comparing it to your last job or the job you dream of or whatever. Make it as, as best you can for right now and it will get you to where you need to go, okay? So I hope this did resonate with you. If it did, please do like, subscribe, share, all that other great stuff. Otherwise, I hope to see you back this week for your weekly reading. Have a great May. Bye.